Shootings by police officers sure make headlines, but they also raise questions about how officers are trained. South Carolina officers go through 12 weeks of basic training, which is actually well below the national average. In tonight's Live 5 Investigates, Carter Coyle has the story why. South Carolina has one central training academy, so every officer in the state, whether it be a city police officer, county sheriffs, highway patrol, they all have to go to Columbia to the Criminal Justice Academy. The director there tells me it's time for some training changes. Officers at the South Carolina Criminal Justice Academy practicing situations they could one day really face as a deputy or police officer. Situations that in real life could mean life or death. From certain legals to domestics to traffic to defensive tactics, this is the foundation for which law enforcement builds. It starts here. Director Jackie Swindler believes there are major benefits of having one central state training academy. Other states do it differently. They have little community colleges or different fragmented academies around. And so you, you realize what you have there. You have a whole different set of instruction. Here, students live and breathe training for three months on a 300-acre campus. Regardless of where you are in the state, uh, they've been trained the same. He believes it's quality over quantity. In this report from the Bureau of Justice Statistics, I found the national average for basic law enforcement training is 840 hours, 21 weeks. South Carolina has 12 weeks of training. Most nearby states do longer training courses, such as 17 weeks in Virginia, 16 in North Carolina, 22 in Kentucky, and 13 in Alabama. Tennessee trains for 12 weeks like we do, while Georgia and Mississippi require 11. Why is the length of training here 12 weeks compared to nationally it being closer to 21 weeks? I will tell you that we have introduced in our budget this year to go to 15 weeks. But right now we're 12, but just some years ago uh, we were at uh, 9 weeks. Do you ever wonder, is 12 weeks enough? A lot has to do with the amount of time that you are afforded to teach the students, and a lot of that has to do with budget. And that budget depends on traffic tickets. Historically, the academy has been funded off of fines and fees, means a portion of, of those traffic stops. Well, that is so unpredictable. Basically, if you get a ticket, for example, for speeding, some of the court fees are supposed to come to the academy. They were operating on about $15 million a year, but traffic stops across the state have gone down, ticket money has decreased, and the academy's funding has gone down about $2 million. Month to month budgeting can be so unpredictable here at the academy that they're doing anything they can to save money. Staff even brings in these coupons to help cut back on kitchen and food costs. We've been tasked for a long time to manage to do a, a lot with, with a little. For the first time, the General Assembly gave the Academy $3.4 million in the state budget this year, but Swindler wants more. To start with, he doesn't like the idea that officers writing tickets means officers get trained. Perplexes me is how that concept ever came about, because that's not the way, that's not the way we should be. Let the state collect the fines and fees, whatever that may be and keep that, but give us a consistent line out of budget so that we'll know what's coming in. Swindler is requesting $18 million total from the state of South Carolina. That would cover some big new changes. First, it would bring training to 15 weeks. Second, they could create a mobile training team to go in the field across the state to teach officers and brush up their skills. Third, Swindler would bump up salaries at the academy. Lastly, he has an idea to help agencies across the state pay for psychological evaluations on every candidate before they get to the academy. That's not happening right now. We certainly think that would in increase and improve the quality of, of candidate of officer in this state. He says people are and should be demanding the best officers and the best training. I just think it's that important that we produce a product that can go out and, and really do the job the way policing is designed to do, to treat people with dignity and respect, to keep people safe, to keep themselves safe. We're going to be much better as a society where people understand each other and appreciate each other. We compared other states and how they train. That'll all go online. One point Mr. Swindler discussed was that all officers get the same training. Well, an example of why that's important, when reporters started calling him about the Michael Slager case, the academy was basically able to say, no, they do not train officers to shoot a suspect in the back. And while they don't know the full circumstances of that case, they do know Slager got the same training as all other officers.